Hi everyone, season's greetings to everyone, wishing everyone across a very, very, very happy new year. Welcome to Calcutta Races, season 2021, winter meeting, first day, Friday, 1st of January, 2021. We go ahead with the race preview for the eight races of the day. First, we have race number one, the Royal Mantle Handicap for horses rated 41 to 66, about 2,000 meters. First, we're looking at horse number one, Midnight Phantom. Midnight Phantom has had two starts this season. He finished fifth in his last run, running in the lower set over a distance more suited to him. Up next, we have horse number two, Fantasia. Fantasia hasn't won for more than over a year now, has been running disappointing races, has had three starts this season and all were unplaced. Next up, we have Apna Time Aiga and number five, Avelino. Apna Time Aiga, a model of consistency, has been on board for the last eight starts. The gelding is looking for that elusive win after shifting to Kolkata. Avelino, the bottom weight, who finished third over a mile, came up with the run. I think the extra 400 meters might suit him better. Next, we have horse number four, Ghost. Ghost, who has won his last two starts, Steamrolling the opposition in his last run has got an 8 kilo penalty after his impressive win. Race number two, the RCTC Gold Vars, horses rated 81 and above, about 2200 meters. We have New Moon and Sagittarius. New Moon by Dean Skitten out of Atmosphere, who is going over a trip for the first time in Kolkata, had finished third in the Bangalore Derby, but that was many moons ago. Sagittarius, who has moved base from Western India, Arazan out of Glorious Brecker, is a winner of four races, but all over 2000 meters and over has had a start in Kolkata, where he finished ninth. We're looking at horse number three, Jayavant, win legend out of Validate, who has been off the frame only once in the 14 career starts it has had. He has won his only race this season, run over a distance of 1400 meters and should be comfortable over the trip. Number four, we have Shivalik Said. Unlucky loser in his last start, where it won the race, but lost it following an objection. It is the winner of the Calcutta St. Ledger, where she had beaten Jaivan and should give a good account of herself this time. Next, we have horse number five, Arjuna. The sparingly raced gelding has picked up six wins from his 13 starts, a model of consistency over a mile, running over the trip for the first time now. Race number three, the Andhra Prove Handicap for horses rated 61 to 86, about 1200 meters. Horse number one, Surf Romance. Surf Romance ran unplaced in both his starts this season, was much impressive in his last season winner, where he picked up a race and placed in his other starts. Let us hope the new year brings him better luck. Next up, we have 
number two Sullivan and number three Kilkari Bridge both racing in race number 18 over a distance of 1100 meters we also have number four Namakhalal and number five Gorish all racing in race number 18 Sullivan Phoenix star out of Lisa Skitten the Mount of Wire Srinath Sullivan has met one better in his last two outings this season and is seen here finishing good second to Abhaygama in his last start. Kilkari Bridge who finished third in the same race to Abhaygama and Sullivan. It may have needed that run and is expected to improve. Namakhalal in the same race with the Mount of Nikhil Naidu who led all the way up to the distance post before being overpowered by others and is closely handicapped in the race. Number 5 we have Gorish who finished 5th in the same race. Needs to improve to reverse the verdict over the others in the race. We have horse number 6, Double Nine. Double Nine, the oldest in the field, has been off the frame in his last 5 starts and now has to show tremendous improvement to be in the finish. Race number four, the retained asset handicap for horses rated 1 to 26, about 1600 meters. First up, we have Abenaki, who finished a far away fourth in a four horse field, probably needing the run, as the mare had won its last start in the winter season 1920. From the word go, surprising one and all. Next, we're looking at horse number three, Moresco. The grey gelding, which finished fourth in his only start last winter, is the full brother to Interstellar, who was a top-class performer at the highest level. Number four, we have Ashwa Meg by Netwiz out of Fantasy Moon. Who has run thrice over a distance of 6 furlong, now running in the lower set over a distance of mile and the blinkers have been taken off. Remains to be seen whether this will improve its chances of winning. Next we have number 5 the indicator and number 8 Bay Crush. The indicator trained by Mr. H. S. Bad finished second to Intellection, who is running the Calcutta Oaks later in the day, expected to give a good account on that run. Number 8, Bay Crush, Dean Skitten out of She is the Best, who finished fifth after leading the field till the distance post. The hood and the hanging basket bit has been put on Bay Crush after its last start. Next we have horse number 6, Time Axe, Abyside out of Stimulate, who is unplaced in his three outings, going over the trip for the first time, which might suit him better. Number 7, Incognito, win legend out of Foreign Angel, who has finished 4th in his last outing over a 6 furlong. Jockey A. Sandesh has been declared to ride Incognito this time. It has got pacifier blinkers on now. We move on to the fifth race of the afternoon, the Saltarello Handicap, for horses rated 21 to 46, distance about 1600 meters. We have horse number one, Shive, who has had three starts, has run unplaced in all three. Running in the lowest set today, it was the winner of two races last winter, but not the same distance, so let's see how he races.
Next, we have horse number two, Divine Chakra, who has come into the race fresh with the win over a mile in his last start, where he beat a good youngster, way to go. He has been penalized four kilos for that race and will be ridden by jockey Y.S. Srinath. Next up, we have Classico, number three and number four, Super Normal. Classico, who has had one start this season where he finished down the field. Let's see how much Classico has improved from that run. We also have number four, Super Normal, who has had two starts this season, has been a consistent performer over 1600 meters last winter. This time it is running with blinkers on. Next, we have horse number 5, Santana, by declaration of war out of the gaslight. Winner of the last winter, Santana hung out in his only start this season. The trainer has put on blinkers and a hanging basket bit as remedial measures. Next, we have number 6, Cliff Anger. And number 7, Robinson. Cliffhanger by top class out of Lady Escort. Winner of his last start over 7 for long, which was suggestive that the extra 200 will be up his sleeve. Robinson, Arabian Gulf out of Raw Liverpool, well handicapped with Cliffhanger, to whom he had finished 2 and a quarter lengths behind. Next, we have horse number 8, Gold Ray. Gold Ray has had 2 starts this season has finished one second in his last five starts, but that was over 1,100 meters. Up next, we have horse number nine, Leslie. Leslie has had two starts this season. Finished fifth in race number 38, where the apprentice was reprimanded for failing to infuse adequate vigor in his finishing efforts. We come to the feature event of the afternoon, the running of the Calcutta Oaks 2020 Grade 3. For Indian fillies, three years old only, about 2,400 meters. Number one, we have Apsara Star. In the same race, we had Namiki, also Silver Bracelet, Violin and Zoya, all running in 1,000 guineas over 1,600 meters. Apsara Star by Win Legend out of Actuate. Finished an impressive third in the 1,000 guineas behind Violin and Silver Bracelet. The trainer is hopeful that she will stay the trip and give a better account of herself. Namiki, by Total Gallery out of Cordoba, has finished behind Silver Bracelet in all her starts where they have raced together and will have to reverse the verdict of six lengths on violin, although this is a totally different trip altogether. Silver Bracelet, champion juvenile filly of last winter, winner of four out of five starts. She was overpowered by violin in the thousand guineas. The trainer feels in hindsight being up with the field in the guineas have cost her the race. It might race differently this time, will be ridden by his stable jockey, Hindu Singh. Violin by Phoenix Star out of Nojum. She's the queen filly at this moment of time. Having won the Calcutta 1000 guineas, trainer Neil Darasha seems pretty confident and is happy with the progress of the guineas. Violin will be ridden by multiple classic winner, jockey Y. S. Srinath. We also have number 7, Zoya, my bunked dimensional out of Yana, full sister to Matthias and Sana, both classic winners. The pedigree suggests that the trip of mile and a half won't be a problem. Ridden by jockey Dashrut Singh and is the lowest rate of filly in the pack. Next up we have number 2, Intellection by Western Aristocrat out of Alaric, who won his last start over 2000 meters, beating the field by 5 lengths. Although in the lower class, intellection is being ridden by jockey Neeraj Rawal.
Race number 8, the Little Butte Handicap for horses rated 41 to 66. Distance about 1200 meters. Horse number 1, Valoris Thal, by Multidimensional, out of Romantique. Hasn't raced since almost over a year now. She is a winner of her last two starts last winter. Up next, we have horse number two, Shimmering Star. Shimmering Star, the winner of three races from ten starts. Shimmering Star hasn't raced close to nine months and has had a mock race this season. Up next, we have horse number three, Dil Mange Mo whose last win was also more than a year back. It has one start this season where she finished 6th. Next up we have Glorious Sleeps and number 5 Philadelphia. Glorious Sleeps, who has finished a very good third in his last start to Philadelphia. The showy horse will hope to go one better this time. Number 5 Philadelphia by Varner out also romantic is a winner of his last start. Will be hoping to do an encore. However, is closely handicapped with Glorious Sleeps and Angel Grace. We also have number 7 Finicia Mist and number 10 Angel Grace. Number 7 Finicia Mist, winner of 3 races from 7 starts. Finished 4th in Philadelphia's win wherein it set in a scorching pace and petered out in the concluding stages of the race. Number 10, we have Angel Grace to be ridden by jockey Neeraj Rawal. Was unlucky to have been pipped by Philadelphia in her last start. Closely matched with Philadelphia and Glorious Leaps on handicap. Number 6, we have Gentiles. And number 12, we have Atom. Number 6, Gentiles who has had one start after shifting base to Kolkata, wherein he finished 7th to Moscova. Number 12, Atom finished 6th in his last start and is back to a sprint, looking for that elusive maiden win. Number 8, we have Freeze by Excellent Art out of Derasat, has had one start after shifting to Kolkata, where he finished 5th to Hukumat. Lastly, we have horse number 11, Guitar Girl. Guitar Girl has had two starts with one win this season and finished second in a blanket finish to Mystic Star in her last start. Wishing everyone very happy new year once again and thank you.